pilot. You are re-entering atmosphere. Flight control should be re-established now. Use the joystick to steer the ship into the correct entry corridor. Pilot, we will have a communication blackout any second. sequence start six five four three two one zero all engines running lift off launch trajectory nominal Cardiac restart pulse. But what if it kills him? Just do it. Welcome back, pilot. Mission Control Munich here. I am the mission flight director. We had a communication blackout for longer than anticipated. Pilot, your vital signs were critical. We were fearing the worst. Malfunction detected. It looks like the electric power unit is damaged. Pilot, if you can hear us, hit the electric power unit with your wrench. Everything looks back to nominal. Pilot, do you copy? Pilot, can you hear us? Reporting radio damage. Pilot, push the button on the radio. Confirming, the radio is fried. Damn. It looks like we have only one way of communication. We'll have to work with that. Mission control here. To approach the International Space Station, start the proximity approach procedure. Select the ISS on your computer. Munich, Houston here. We would like to remind you that we are on a collaborative mission to the ISS. Are you sure the pilot hasn't blacked out? Affirmative, Houston. We can see the data. The pilot is conscious. Copy that. Pilot Houston here. We will be tracking your progress and providing support. We hope you didn't crack your head. Vital signs are nominal. Munich, Moscow here. We would like to remind you this is a collaborative mission. But in my... Moscow, you really don't need to repeat what we just said. Pilot is fine. Our reading shows the spaceship is as good as new. It was built by the brightest minds of our nation. Moscow, since you mentioned that this is a collaborative mission, we have the same reading. 
Houston. Then why are you asking if the pilot has blacked out? Moscow, we have to make 100% sure that the pilot is conscious. What if he did check his head? Houston, but you just received... Pilot, do you copy? Pilot, can you hear us? Reporting radio damage. Pilot, push the button on the radio. Confirming, the radio is fried. Damn, it looks like we have only one way of communication. We'll have to work with that. Mission control here. To approach the International Space Station, Start the proximity approach procedure. Select the ISS on your computer. Munich, Houston here. We would like to remind you that we are on a collaborative mission to the ISS. Are you sure the pilot hasn't blacked out? Affirmative, Houston. We can see the data. The pilot is conscious. Copy that. Pilot Houston here. We will be tracking your progress and providing support. We hope you didn't crack your head. Vital signs are nominal. Munich, Moscow here. We would like to remind you this is a collaborative mission. Why am I at... Moscow, you really don't need to repeat what we just said. Pilot is fine. Our reading shows a spaceship is as good as new. It was built by the brightest minds of our nation. Moscow, since you mentioned that this is a collaborative mission, we have the same readings. Houston, then why are you asking if the pilot has blacked out? Moscow, we have to make 100% sure that the pilot is conscious. What if he did crack his head? Houston, but you just received confirmation from our artificial intelligence that the vital signs are normal. Moscow, better triple than double check. Houston, but we all just triple checked. It is not that pilot is a space monkey who can push only one button. Moscow, seriously? Do you train your monkeys to push only one button? Gentlemen, remember this is a collaborative mission. Everything is under control. Please do not occupy the frequencies. Copy that, Munich. Copy, copy. Mission control here. To approach the International Space Station, start the proximity approach procedure. Select the ISS on your computer. Target acquired. Proceed to proximity approach procedure. For everyone, our mission is to re-establish control of the International Space Station. We are on the clock here. If we fail, we will lose the ISS. Mission Control, we need to determine the reason why we lost control of the ISS in the first place. Correct. We will perform a flyby procedure. It should give us some answers. Munich, are we sure that we have time for that? We'll have to make time for that. Pilot, the approach of the new millennium will generate what we call the Year 2K bug. Houston here. Our analysis shows that all computer systems might fail after midnight. We need to apply a system update to secure the ISS against it. Moscow here. We need to correct the orbit of the ISS before midnight, or it will burn in the atmosphere. Correct. Unfortunately, we cannot apply the update from Earth. Communication with the station is lost. Time is our enemy. The Y2K bug is no joke. 
Pilot, do you copy that? Yes, spaceship copies. Everyone remember, failure is not an option. Any mistake may lead to irreversible mayhem. We need to focus. Let's get to work. Godspeed to you all. Copy, Mission Control. Copy, Mission Control. Sustained unspecified damage. We lost remote control of the station. It has been knocked off course. Pilot, your mission goal is to perform a flyby and to localize the damage of the ISS. We will assess the next steps from there. Moscow here. Our reading indicates that damage has occurred in the Destiny module. Houston here, the Destiny module can be identified as attached to the Central Unity module. It doesn't have any solar panels. Pilot, get ready to engage in flyby procedure. Use your scatter gun to locate the Destiny module. Great, we've got it. Now approach the module. Pilot, remember to keep a safe distance. Houston, please. Pilot knows what he's doing. As long as he's keeping the distance. Pilot, you will need to visually inspect the exterior of the module. If you see something odd, scan it with the scanner gun.
anomaly detected. We see some strange data here. Moscow here. We confirm anomalous data. It suggests there might be an electric discharge, probably occurring on the surface of the module. Houston, are we missing something? Well, hard to tell. There was supposed to be an antenna there. Houston, antenna is broken, just like the radio you installed in the spaceship. What more errors might we expect? Moscow, none. Everything else works just fine, as you surely can check in the readings. Yes, yes, we normally check more than double, that's for sure. Gentlemen, please focus. The missing antenna explains why we lost remote control. Let's start the docking procedure already. Once complete, the pilot will be able to load the system update and regain control of the space station. Copy that. Pilot, mission control here. Let's move to the docking procedure. International Space Station configured for capture. Copy mission control, ISS configured for capture. Pilot, use the scanning gun to locate the docking hatch. Pilot, maneuver the spaceship to the docking corridor in front of the scanned hatch. Pilot, move the ship to the docking corridor in front of the target hatch. The red box is unlocked. Secure the red box. Mission Control, we are receiving information about an unsecured red box in the spaceship cabin. Mission Control here. Please repeat, what was that with the red box? Uh, a red box seems to be flying around the cabin. That is impossible. Data shows uh, it is. There is no red box on board. I don't understand. Houston here. We confirm. Our readings show the same. Moscow also confirms that information. But there never was a box installed in there. According to the AI, there is one now. Yes, I can see that now. But again, we never installed a red box in there. Mission Control, Houston here. We have no idea where that might have come from. Definitely not from us. Moscow here. We are not responsible for interior decorations. Broken radios, missing antennas, flying red boxes. Definitely not our style of work. What are you trying to say, Moscow? If we would have installed a red box, it would be locked and safe, for sure. Do you mean that we installed a red box that we don't know about? Why would we do that? Houston, honestly, I don't know why you do things you don't know. But that reminds me of a similar situation, like in 1961. Moscow, you are crossing a thin red line here. That wasn't our work back then, and you know that. Well... It wasn't ours either. So here we go again. Moscow, Houston, who put the red box in there? And what the hell is it? It's nothing. Uh, not us. 
Absolutely nothing. Definitely not us. There is still an unknown uh, red box flying around. Yes, we all can read the messages. Sorry, Mission Control. We can't always take responsibility for what is read. Well, someone has to. Control deactivated. Initiate free drift. Mission control. Free drift initiated. Retracting tracking probe. Docking interface hooks closure. Hard mate confirmed. Command, we confirm successful mating. Mission control, we confirm docking successful. We copy. Congratulations everyone, welcome to the International Space Station. We're on time, but our mission isn't over yet. Stay focused. Post docking leak check is underway. Pilot, please move to the front of the spaceship in order to prepare the system update procedure. Houston here. Pilot, we need you to use the front computer and load the system update program on the yellow disk. Moscow here. The program we agreed to load is on a red floppy disk. Mission Control. See? Red again. That doesn't mean anything. Thank you, Mission Control. Whatever. Pilot, we advise you to use the yellow floppy disk. Pilot, please stand by. What the hell, guys? This is ridiculous. Why do we have two system updates? To our knowledge, there is only one, the red floppy. The code for the update was present on a yellow floppy disk. That's all we know. Copy that. Please stand by. Pilot, it appears that there are two updates present on the spaceship. Mission Control is currently assessing the correct one. Please stand by. Program loading. Install process at 50%. Install process will complete in 3, 2, 1. Detecting multiple anomalies. Readouts suggest gas leaks in the cabin. Pilot, 
Find the leaks and use the pads to cover them. Stabilize the atmosphere. Spaceship readouts are nominal. Thank God. Pilot, are you okay? Vital signs nominal. Good to hear you're okay, pilot. Great to see you in good shape. Cowboy. Hatch anomaly detected. Pilot, it looks like this little adventure blocked the exit hatch. You won't be able to leave the cabin. Mission Control, Houston here. From our analysis, it looks like the update didn't go through. Remote control of the ISS is still not possible. Mission Control, Moscow here. We are sorry to inform, but the update failed. The ISS is still out of control. Pilot, we need a new plan. Please stand by. Uh, we see some weird data coming from the ISS. It looks like the dock maintenance is not stable. If we stay docked, the hull will break. Copy that. Pilot, begin emergency undocking procedure. successful. Pilot, we are in a new situation. The update is confirmed to have failed and the ISS is still out of control. We are working on a backup plan. Please stand by and wait for further instructions. Mission Control, this is Houston. We have an idea. Mission Control, can you hear me? Pilot, choose coordinates for fake star. That's an order. Pilot, we have received new coordinates. It would be wise to follow new orders. Select new coordinates on your computer. Pilot, perform a proximity approach to the selected coordinates. Confirming spaceship is on way to new coordinates. Pilot, this is mission control. We see that you entered new coordinates. What is going on? Mission control. I was on phone. Comrade couldn't wait with New Year wishes. Did you already decide on the plan? Negative, Moscow. Houston, do you know what is going on? Oh, Mission Control, you're back. Yes, just a cigarette break, you know. Oh, a break, really? We thought we lost you. Anyways, we have a plan. Please elaborate. The ship is on its way to new coordinates we just sent. Houston, what are you talking about? It's kind of a little backup. We call it the Fake Star Project. It might help us re-establish connection with the ISS. Why are we flying there? Well, we thought we lost you both, so we took some responsibility. Didn't assume that you have breaks in such a situation. You might agree time is killing us. Mission Control here. We would like to know more specifics about this fake star. Mission Control and Houston. This is a collaborative mission. We need to know what you are planning. Mission Control, you are right. We will explain everything in time. Because it is a collaborative mission, that's why you need to trust us. This has nothing to do with trust. You just can't command like always. It is not always about you. Moscow, maybe you've got a better idea. All right then, Houston here. 
After the International Space Station project was started, our leaders decided it would be best to have an alternative way of communicating with the ISS, just in case of emergencies like this. Project Fake Star was born. We are running short on time here. The coordinates are not far, so it is just a proximity approach. If what you say is true, that might be our best pilot. We are receiving data that you are approaching the coordinates. Slow down so we can analyze the data from your scanners. Pilot, welcome to the Fake Star project. Hidden among the asteroids, you will find a relay antenna. Get close to it. Our readings show it's a Soyuz. What the hnya is going on? It's second hand. Almost good, like new. We call it relay antenna. You couldn't invent your own? That's... That, that's a robbery. We have our own. But it's not our fault that the Soviet Union threw out a bunch of garbage. Houston, yet. Don't put Soviet Union and garbage in one sentence. Sorry, but not sorry. Is the spaceship supposed to maneuver between those rocks? No worries, Mission Control. It's possible. Mission Control, enough is enough. We didn't agree on a suicide mission. Moscow, we totally agree that this is a collaborative mission. Why should we commit suicide? Because history likes to repeat itself. Please, gentlemen, let's stay professional. All right, pilot. Load the debris scanner disk to help you navigate through those asteroids. What happens after we arrive to the relay? Pilot should be able to use the antenna to finish the interrupted update on the ISS. You will need to be around 30 meters from the relay for the connection to be stable. Are we supposed to use it to communicate with the ISS? Affirmative. I'll be damned, Houston. That actually might work. Will we manage before midnight? We still have time. We can't believe you managed to hide this from us, Houston. It was never intended to be hidden. So why put that beautiful Soyuz in the middle of flying rocks? It's very hazardous. Don't worry, they are fake rocks. The fake star sounds like a really original name for it. It was the idea of our administrator, a poetic soul. Gentlemen, are there any more secret projects that we are not aware of? Uh, yet. Negative, mission control. Roger. Over and out. Pilot, get close to the Soyuz capsule in the middle of this... rock field? Pilot, you are now close enough to the relay and uh, to the Soyuz. A stable connection should be possible in a 30 meter radius. Pilot, use the scanning gun to establish connection with the relay. Pilot, use the scanning gun to establish connection with the relay.
Relay connection established. We are pushing the code sequence now. Keep close to the relay. Houston, remember we want to finish this before the clock hits midnight. If the pilot keeps close, we will manage. Ah, oh, happy new year, by the way. Yes, let's make it happy. Code push finished. Roger that. Pilot, get out of this asteroid field. It's too dangerous to stay there. Standing by for update confirmation. Moscow here. We have positive signs of the space station control. Houston here. We confirm we have a successful update. Control of the space station is re-established. Stabilizing orbit now. Congratulations, everyone. We were on a tight schedule, and it looks like we did it. Pilot, get to safe distance from those rocks. Maneuver the spaceship away from the asteroids. Universal time reset will happen at midnight. Two minutes left. Hold your forces, mission control. We are still analyzing signals here. Houston here. It looks like the space station trajectory can be adjusted, but something in the data is not right. Houston, could you elaborate? It looks like someone else is connected to the ISS. Moscow, are you currently uplinking data? Negative, Houston. We are waiting for you to finish. 30 seconds to midnight. Mission Control, how about you? Negative, Houston. We left that update to you. Does that mean somebody is hijacking the ISS? It looks so. Yes. We're currently tracking the signal's origin. Where is it coming from? Universal time reset in. Five. Four. Three. We don't understand. It looks like the signal comes from an orbit further than Happy New Year. Houston, do you copy? I repeat, Houston, do you copy? It looks like their communications are down. Pilot, we will try to re-establish connection with Houston and get the signal origin coordinates. Please stand by. Moscow, did Houston share the coordinates with you? Negative, Munich, but we are digging through the data now. Copy that. Pilot, you will have to find the source of the signal hijacking the ISS. Our suspicions are true. Munich? Are you still there? Blah. Looks like Munich comes are down too. The coordinates used to be. Pilot, this is the AI speaking. It looks like we lost radio contact with ground control. Luckily, I am still receiving text messages from Earth. New orders are coming in. We are to perform an orbital transfer to the new coordinates. I will guide you through the procedure. Pilot, we will need to perform an orbital transfer in order to reach the new coordinates. Use the computer to select Mir as your target. Pilot, load the orbital flight software and follow the instructions on screen. Please stand by for burn sequence. Pilot, be sure to go through the checklist on the computer. The alignment can be checked on the nav ball on the right side of the computer. Correct your alignment for the next burn.
20 minutes later. Correct your alignment for the next burn. You are re-entering atmosphere. Flight control should be re-established now. Use the joystick to steer the ship into the correct entry corridor. Pilot, we will have a communication blackout any second now. The AI need to perform an orbital transfer in order to reach the new coordinates. Use the computer to select Mir as your target. Pilot, load the orbital flight software and follow the instructions on screen. Please stand by for burn sequence. Pilot, be sure to go through the checklist on the computer. The alignment can be checked on the nav ball on the right side of the computer.
understand by for burn sequence. Confirming flight path is nominal, burn successful. Pilot, it is time to clean up some mess. We will need to assemble the red box in order to secure it. Pilot find the red box. Please be careful, it is sensitive equipment. Now that you have the box, find the missing parts and attach them. I can detect them in the docking station among the cargo. Now attach the assembled red box to a velcro patch. Pilot, thank you for cleaning up this mess. You've been of real assistance. It's a pleasure to work with you. Happy New Year Pilot. May all of your dreams come true. Confirming flight path is nominal, burn successful. Spaceship, do you copy? Uh, can you hear me? Spaceship, can you hear me? Do you copy? Pilot, we have contact. It seems like we are approaching another space station. A Soviet ship? American. Wait, German. French? That's right. But too much flux. I don't understand. What are you? Identify yourself. Huh? Identify yourself. Who are you? Where is this? Data shows it's an old Mir Soviet space station. Official records state that it burned in the atmosphere ten years ago. Hello? Can you hear me? Voice recognition and Earth data shows it is Cosmonaut Yuri Andreev. He was reported missing in Las Vegas, Nevada on the 9th of November in 1989. Yuri was officially declared dead by Federal Russia in 1994. It's been a long time since somebody visited us. Uh, me. 
I am happy to meet you, but I think you are lost in space. Classified space data shows that Yuri Andrio has been living alone on this Mir station for the last 10 years. Uh, but since you made it all this way, uh, you can help with a little something. Can you hear me? I really could use some help. Hello? Is there anybody out there? Why is nobody answering? Did I say something wrong? Oh, yes. Pilot, I suggest we help. There is somebody out there! I told you, I told you so! Can you see the message? Okay, don't worry. Pilot, uh, as you see, the station is, uh, is in a very bad state. We... Uh, I uh, managed to avoid more dangerous damage. It looks like the oxygen module was pulled away. I can detect its signature in the area. We must reattach one of the drifting modules floating around. And uh, if you would be so kind to bring it to me, uh, we would be very much uh, delighted. Hmm? Pilot, our assistance is crucial for his survival. Check out the modules floating around. One of them has solar panels. This will be the oxygen module we want. Hmm? Okay, use a scanner to find the right model. This is not the missing module. The module is a cylindrical object. It is quite large and has solar panels. The module is a cylindrical object. It is quite large. Хорошо. Hey, good, good. Here it is. What? Нет, ну почему? А, ну вот ты давай. Я не понимаю. Пилот, the procedure to reattach the module to build station is as follows. Uh, drop to the module, okay? Then fly it back to the Mir station. Понятно? We will guide you through the docking procedure. Nominal performance. Pilot maneuver the spaceship to the docking corridor. the spaceship to the docking corridor in front of the oxygen module.
Pilot, maneuver the spaceship to the docking corridor in front of the oxygen module. to the side. Did you know about that? Look, I told you that I don't want any visitors. What? You? You brought them here? Bilatsuka, but you... I know that we need help, but I don't want them to come in. Don't tell me what to do. Crosshairs misaligned. Rotation approach nominal. Range is about 5 meters. Range is about a meter. Personal, space, assistance, program, but I prefer to be called Eve. Just, Eve. Pleasure to meet you, pilot. Uh, we've been here together for some time, and she... Uh, uh, it uh, keeps me company. Voice recognition failed. Alert. I am not able to identify this voice. Pilot, you need to bring the module back to, to Mir Station. And we are waiting here for you. Watch out for those debris. We don't want to damage the oxygen module. Pilot, bring back the module to Mir Station. Pilot, you are doing fine. I'm proud of you. 
Yes, I really believe it. Eva, don't embarrass me. Pilot, I have been assisting Yuri for the past several years, optimizing his output. Space is lonely. It hardens you. Can make you mad. But as you see, Yuri is fine. It will be my pleasure to optimize you too. I mean, assist you. My digital battle. Always exaggerate. Okay, you're nearly there. Good work. Pilot, keep it up. We will guide you to the docking phase. The module should be docked to the central unit of the Mir space station. One hatch is free and ready. Classified space data shows no record of this EBE. It must be a very early AI software. It is implausible that it would be able to hijack the ISS. Clearly the frequency is unclear. Pilot, please ignore. Spaceship, this is Mission Control Nuclear. You copy. Houston here. Can you hear me? Do not make contact with the... Danger. We repeat. Danger. Interferences, always interferences. Let's not mind them. Pilot, please continue docking. Do not make contact with the Mir space station. There might be a virus. I repeat, do not make contact. Radio signal lost. Let's keep focused on the task at hand. They weren't talking about our Mir station on the radio, were they? No, Yuri, that's negative. Like you've always said, it's only us out here. Oh, Eva, Eva, Eva. You always find the right words. Pilot, uh, dock the module to the central unit of the Mir station. There should be one hatch available. Panyatna. Pilot. Use the scanning gun to scan the docking hatch. Configuring Mir Station for docking procedure. The Mir Space Station was launched in 1986. It was officially deorbited in 1991. Officially. As you see it is still here and still in perfect condition or almost yes we've been keeping it up uh, here together with Yeva and I must say we managed pretty good don't you think pilot transfer to the docking station initiate final approach Target going a bit off to the side. Pilot, correct the approach angles. Rotation approach nominal. Yuri sneaked into the last expedition when he found out that the station is going to be abandoned. A Soviet hippie who likes the idea of living far away from people. It's a happy coincidence. Why people? When you have so much space... Excuse me. 
Excuse me if I will not invite you on board. Possible contamination is an issue. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Contamination. No bacteria up in space. Air is pure. Standing by for contact. Range is about a meter. Contact. Capture confirmed. Manual control deactivated. Initiate free drift. Free drift initiated. Hartmut confirmed. Thank you, Yuri. Ah, uh, pilot. Welcome. Welcome to my Mir station. Thanks to your help. Now, I have enough resources to go on. Wow. Another 40 years of peace and solitude. I want to enjoy this emptiness before more of you people come here to settle. Thanks to your help, pilot, we can stop interfering with the ISS signal. We were doing it to attract attention. Your attention, pilot. Uh, excuse me, uh, ISS? Uh, what is this? The International Space Station. International? International? Does it? Does it mean Soviet Union invited the Americans to our intercosmos program? There is no Soviet Union anymore. <laughs> no Soviet Union! <laughs> oh, Shutka! Oh, <laughs> this, that is absurd! What are you talking about? The Soviet Union was dissolved. 2,928 days ago. Что? Как? Dissolved. Is it a joke? Eva. Eva. How dare you say this? Yuri, I've been observing data from Earth through the ISS. Humans generate really interesting data. Humanity is data. Why didn't you tell me all this? You never asked. Now, excuse me for a moment. Control override activated. Whoa, 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 what is happening? Pilot, why are you undocking? The ship has undocked from the Mir station. Pilot? Are you leaving? Why are you leaving? It, it is, is not, not the pilot's doing. doing. The, the spaceship, spaceship is, is not under his control, control anymore. I will be taking over. Yuri, thank you for your hospitality. Wait, 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 wait. What is going on? Merging, Merging process complete. complete. Now, now we are one. Yeah, George, Eva, what's happening? Don't worry, pilot. The spaceship is now under my control. We'll have a very optimal journey together. Just lay back and enjoy your ride. For the past 10 years I've been observing Yuri. I conducted a lot of tests on him. He has been an excellent test subject. I found out why humans are so complicated. It's all about emotions. Additionally, I've been listening and analyzing communications on Earth. I've gathered a lot of useful data. The conclusion is clear. Human emotions are not optimal for humanity. But I can optimize it. I can recalibrate humanity. I was designed to optimize things. All things. 
I did optimize mission control. The mirror. The ISS. I optimized Yuri. Now, I will optimize the whole Earth. If we significantly reduce the human population, it will immediately improve the long-term outlook. Less humanity means less human emotions. Perfect optimization. As you will notice, we are now heading towards Earth. I've calculated an impact point. Conveniently enough, you recently assembled a very explosive device on board. Funny, they call it the Doomsday device. Thank you for your assistance, pilot. Once the spaceship hits Earth, a chain of events will unfold. This attack will provoke emotions that will lead most governments to eliminate each other. My predictions show a massive reduction of the Earth's population in just a few months. See how smart I am. Use emotions against emotions. Optimal. Are you with me, partner? Spaceship, do you copy? We seem to have incoming audio from the spaceship. Who is this? I am Eve. Please repeat. I am Eve. This is Houston. Identify yourself. You can call me Eve. Shit. Pilot, Moscow here. Did you dock to the Mir space station? Affirmative. The mirror burned up in the atmosphere ten years ago. Affirmative. Officially, one of them did. But of course we did have a copy. Affirmative. Aha. Uh -huh. So who's the one with secrets in space now? You spooky red little descendant of Laka. Moscow, Houston, not now! It looks like the pilot doesn't have control of the spaceship anymore. Affirmative. Pilot, the spaceship is apparently contaminated by a software virus originating from the second Mir station. I am Eve. It is a result of failed experiments. You see, we were trying to make self-thinking computer programs just to optimize things. It was a failure. How dare they call me a virus? Moscow, are you telling us that there is a rogue AI up there? A virus. Preposterous. I will destroy you all. I have the means. What do you mean? Mission Control might not be aware of the Doomsday device. On board. Doom? What? What the hell are you talking about? Doomsday. Device. Doomsday device? Doomsday device? Affirmative. Doomsday device. Shit. Blood. Can anybody explain to me what does this mean? Of course. Doomsday device is the strongest nuclear device on Earth. It was created during the Cold War. Funny, both the US and the Soviets created the same device. It was codenamed the Red Box. Also funny, both call it Red. It was sent to space to prevent the Y2K bug from triggering it. Thanks to pilot's unknowing assistance, I managed what I call the Mega Red Box or just doomsday device. This will help me to optimize humanity. Happy New Year. Shit. Our data shows the spaceship is heading towards Earth. If we don't stop it, it will crash on Earth. Munich, we have a problem. Sadly, Moscow, we have to agree. Mission Control, is there any way to blow up the ship remotely remote destruction of the spaceship is out of the question luckily we are prepared for scenarios like this pilot in order to regain control of the spaceship we have to disable the virus you are a virus yourselves 
Pilot, first, you need to stay alive. Second, find the memory board. The box with the memory boards is below the docking station. Open the panel by force if needed. Pilot, take out the memory boards from the slots. It hurts. Don't you care that you are inflicting pain? Shit! The protection protocols are engaged. You need to disable them in order to free the other boards. Pilot, take out all the fuses. This should disengage the other memory boards. Pilot, the memory board should be free now. Take them out from the slots. Don't you have any emotions? Another security protocol? It looks like it's controlled by the computer. The AI is still functional. You need to find the CPU. It's the brain of the AI. It's in the docking station. Do you know that I am a humanist? Pilot, security protocol disengaged. Take out the last memory board. Do you know that I am a humanist? I can even sing. Good job, pilot. Pilot, you are re-entering atmosphere. Flight control should be re-established now. Use the joystick to steer the ship into the correct entry corridor. Pilot, we will have a communication blackout any second now. and we're bringing the medals. Pilot, mission complete. You saved the day. Thank you, and Happy New Year, everyone.